Our next presenter. Our next presenter has lived in Providence, Rhode Island for 10 years. She was elected as the winner. She was selected as the winner of the 2011 Robert Dana Award. And her first book, Only Blue Body, will be available in the fall of 2012. She's earned an MFA in poetry from Warren Wilson's College Low Residency Program for Writers. Her poems have appeared in the Cincinnati Review, Crazy Horse, New Orleans Review, The Pinch, and Matter. Hidden. I used to be a doe goat pirate, captain of my own ship in the picture book where the water color was deep and limpid and teeming. I was a Toggenberg with a striped face and udders hidden by my pirate breeches. My crew was various, a badger, a jaguar, some monkeys, a crane. We got along because it was fiction. Also, there seemed little choice. We risked hanging every day. The sea was wide and storms wanted to swallow the ship and erase us right out of the jewel-colored pages of the world. Now I am merely a woman with breasts on my chest and no crew whatsoever. Animals don't talk to me anymore. Not in a language I understand. The ship is gone. Sailing on without me or broken. Inert in that desert under the dark water. Woodcut. At work across the room he was silence. A book closed upon itself. But like her, made of lines that curved. The curve of his body over his work the muscles of his carving, carving arm, tensed, active. Between them, a barrier, not material. As if he lived within a mirror, working backward, putting images into the wood. She looked for him there after the work was done. The bench vacated, the prints hung to dry. Was this evidence? Wood curls, tools, a roller blackened with ink. And once a jolt more backward, the made things, octopus, rooster, elephant, and a face, human, her own face, the too large mouth, eyes into one dimension distilled, and made from herself, swoop of inked line, dark lip, eyes without light, speeding away from the source. But what source? The wood? The blade? The secretary. The fox runs in the meadow and at the border of the meadow. Up to the elbow and more the fox occupies. Someone tries to give you instruction, itemizing. It sometimes seems like she's just briefly resting over the arm, but you haven't seen it. Not lately. He keeps talking, sometimes wrapping the counter with his knuckles. The fox, which was an arm, rests on the desk, panting from her run. You shouldn't stare at her, not while he's standing there. Her legs marked with black socks. The thin line of black between the red of her tail and the tail's white tip. Only Blue Body. He wasn't speaking for all of us, the man in the lecture hall, saying very casually, the color of an anchor doesn't matter. He wasn't speaking my thoughts. The peach-throated lovebird pressed to the wall of the cage, head turned away, the mate shielding it, shielding it with its own body, prisoners, who are lovers in a cage, an anchor for the other. They are tender to me, peach-throated, the green halves of a single heart. Where am I? I couldn't speak. My throat constricted, point of light, blue knot, a photograph, a girl's body tied in rope. She has blue skin. I've always wanted dark blue skin. Back 
in the body by accident, can't, ba can't get back in by trying. But if the body were blue, if I could tie myself to the body as the body is tied in the photograph, shoulders straining back, jaw tipped upward so the throat is unguarded, if it were dark blue, the only blue body in the world, I could always find it. It would always be mine. First beauty lesson. My first time on my own. I lived in a mountain coal town. I knew one person. I walked to see him every day, even in winter, through the dump, up a tangled hill. A house rough as a stable, a furnace, orange, pulsing like a living carnelian, where he moved inside the cast radius of light, shadowed by light and sweat, the fire small in his pupils, a pipe to give the glass its first shape, tongs for its growing into shape. I brought what I made, stories, folded paper animals, what he made, thick bubbled goblets, green and gold bottles, lacy seahorses, he never gave to me. He liked the rooms dark, as if he were an elemental, like the salamanders who live in flames. He worked until I stopped him, when the windows darkened in homes clustered in the valley. He burnt what I brought, it fed the fire. The fire made glass of it. He did not look at what was finished. He made dragons, pegasi. They flew, no, they were tethered. They hung from the rafters by ribbon. He was not affectionate, but he liked me there. I washed him with olive oil soap. I slept on one side of his hay-stuffed bed. I drew or wrote. He made the solar system. Green, Venus. Silver, Mercury. Mars was orange red. Like certain animals who stand as the hands pass over the shoulders, sweep to the flank, he could be touched. There was paper stuffed in the window frame gaps. Snow made the world soundless. I looked for a long time. His eyes almost darkened.